Hey everyone. So today I did something that I haven't done in probably 30 years roughly. I bought a whole box of cards. The antique mall that I go to has a booth. I've talked about this a bunch of times with um, almost seemingly random boxes of cards. Uh, baseball, football, hockey, racing, and so on. And they had this box of 94 Donruss triple plays which I have seen um, on Amazon for about 30 bucks plus shipping, um, eBay 30-ish dollars. With a discount, they discount everything 25%. This came out to about $12. There's no um, real exciting rookies in here. There's a Chipper Jones rated rookie that goes for two to $3. There are three inserts you can find in here. There was a medalist insert in about one of every 12 packs. Um, that usually had three players on them, a, a bronze, silver, and a gold. Those might go for a dollar or two or three. Bomb Squad inserts in about every 18 packs uh, with home run hitters that, again, might go for a couple bucks. And then Nicknames inserts in one in every 36 packs. And those can go from between, you know, two, three dollars to, uh, in the case of Cal Ripken, 10 to 15 dollars. So I guess those are the things to kind of keep an eye out for. There's a bunch of Hall of Famers in the set. Um, really, I just got this because for $12, you get to open 36 packs. Um, you're guaranteed you're going to find a bunch of Hall of Famers, and maybe you find some other fun stuff insert-wise. So let's open these up and take a look. Ah, just look at that. All those packs for me. Right, we'll do these. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to take these all out and open them one at a time and put them in a couple different piles, commons and uh, inserts and Hall of Famers and Indians and so on. Now they each have 12 per pack. Let's see how these are going to open. Mm, okay. That's the way to open them. All right, so I can't go through and, and read off every name in all these packs. So I will just pick out the uh, the stars. There's a McGriff. There's a, I guess this is what the rookie cards look like, a Salmon Torres. Here's a Jeff Hammonds. And events like, in honor of jabs, as always, Prince Fielder. Uh, and we end up with a Mike Piazza and a Tom Glavin. So a pair of Hall of Famers to end up with. That's a nice first pack. I don't know how evenly spread these inserts were from uh, box to box. So I'm not sure what to be expecting. Let's see. Ooh, there was a Gary Sheffield on the back of that uh, Montgomery card. It's decent. Davis, Dave Justice, Carlos Baerga, he will go in the Indians pile as I collect them separately. There's a Ken Caminiti. And ooh, nice Manny Ramirez rookie. Now, most of the rookies in this set were worth less than a dollar. Um, I assume this is one of those massively over. Um, printed sets, but Manny Ramirez, one of my all-time favorite players, obviously had a real nice career on the Indians before he went to Boston. Um, so that's that's really great. I like that card a lot. Bones, Ricky Bones or Bonez. I've never heard of him. Brady Anderson, there's a Palmero card. There is, who is that, Ramon Martinez. Brett Saberhagen, Greenwell, Jose Lind. So no inserts as of yet. Bunch of rookie cards though. A couple of Hall of Famers.
And we got a Pedro Martinez. Not the Pedro Martinez. This Pedro Martinez, I think, had a lifetime record of seven and four. I was looking up the rookies in this set and I saw Pedro and got excited, but it was this Pedro, so. Got a Kirby Puckett and a D. White Gooden, PJ Serhoff. Jim Tomey, it's an early Tomey card. Hall of Famer, Charles Nagy, one of the uh, Indians pitchers in the 90s who could give up six runs a game and still finish 15 and 10. All right, so here's the first insert card, Frank, and this is the most valuable of the medalists, the Frank Thomas, Rafael Palmero, and John Olrude. Um, okay, so that's, that's good to find one of these early in the opening of these packs. Oops, this is, that is not the back of that card. Okay, very cool, excellent. Ron Gann, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Cecil Fielder. Here's a Jeff McNeely rookie card. Got a Raul Mondesi. There's a nice Randy Johnson card, Hall of Famer. There's a Willie McGee. Rondell White rookie. Kurt Manwaring. Jarrah Phillips. This is uh, what? Jack Clark? Will Clark. Oh boy. Terry Steinbeck. All right, not much there. Interested to see if we get one of these nicknames. They say one in every 36 packs, which should mean you know, roughly one per box, but Sandy Elmar for the Indians pile, another Charles Nagy, and uh, it's a very Indians pack. You got Joey Bell, I assume he's, no, he's, he's Albert by this time. Uh, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Famer, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer, <laughs> Andre Tawson Hall of Famer. That's a heck of a pack. Mark McGuire. And a Midre Cummings. And my son is just getting home, so it's going to be some dog noise until he gets inside. All right, we got a John Crook, Ryan Sandberg. Daryl Strawberry, who uh, was one of my favorite players back in the day. There's a Kenny Lofton card. Getting a lot of the uh, early, the mid-90s Indians core represented here. Juan Gonzalez. Oh, and I'm going to take a very awkward break. I think the door's locked in the sun. was locked. Okay, Robin Ventura, Chris Sabo. Here's one of the nickname cards, John Olerud, not the one I wanted, but, and hopefully this is not the only one in the box. And here is a bomb squad insert, so two in a pack. Cecil Fielder, that's what those look like. Yeah, the nickname card. I'm not really sure what these cards are about. The nickname Blue Jays was selected from over 30,000 entries, 4,000. So I guess it's how, maybe how the team's got their name. Okay. Cecil Fielder, Bond Squad. Here's a Frank Thomas. Um, yeah, it's one of the better cards in the set. Paul Sorrento, another Indian. Andres Calaraga. In Sierra. So that was that was a great pack right there. Two inserts in the same pack. And Frank Thomas and some Indians. There is a Robbie Alomar. So 
a real nice card, Hall of Famer. And there's the Chipper Jones. So that was one of the cards I was looking for. It's a pretty, it's a pretty card. I guess that's the kind of thing you could get graded. There might be a little nick on the bottom there, but. All right, what else do we have in here? There's a Palmero. There's a nice Joe Carter card. It seems to me there's a pretty high percentage of good players uh, in this set. All right. I already found a bunch of the stuff that I was looking for um, already just in the first 10 packs or so. There's a Bagwell. There is a Biggio Hall of Famer. Another Andre Dawson. All right. Messina, starting to see some repeats here. Magadan, Macklemore. Hard hitting Mark Witten. All right, yeah, you have some packs with, with five or six or seven interesting cards, and then other packs seemingly with one or none, which in a way is good. It seems like they have a fairly random process for uh, putting these packs together. Carlos Delgado, rookie. That's, uh, he's had a good career. Alan Trammell again. There's your Barry Bonds. Another Galarraga, David Cohn. I think this is the third, maybe the fourth, Andre Dawson. Okay, there's that Bones guy again. Another Brady Anderson. Molly Joyner. Let me see another Kirby Puckett there. Another Saberhagen. Ozzy. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Is another Palmero. I'm starting to see a lot of repeats now. There's another, uh, the Pedro Martinez you don't want. Another Dwight Gooden. Yeah, a lot of these cards I've seen before. Let's see how much variation there is in the rest of these. It's another Jim Tomey. like to find a, uh, a Cal Ripken in here for sure. Another Mondesi rookie, another Molitor card. I'm going quickly here, I don't want to make this into a 45 minute video for a, a set like this. All right, so Jay Bell. Every once in a while, some of these are stuck together, but it's not too bad. Randy Johnson. But overall, it's another one of those stink packs. Another Will and Gee. These ones are a little more stuck together. Than uh, the earlier packs, and I don't know why they these uh, vary so much from uh, in terms of up and down. J.R. Phillips rookie, Terry Steinbeck, Dave Stewart. Dave Stewart had a real nice run in the late '80s, 
And see here, he had 20 wins, 21 wins, 21 wins, 22 wins, just four seasons in a row. Um, and then, you know, even at, at this point in 94, his record was 158 and 114. So, all right, let's see. Looks like we have maybe 15 packs left or so. There's a Sandy Alomar. We got a Rondell White rookie. Dennis Eckersley. Earl Baines. Neely rookie. Another Kenny Lofton. Another Mark McGuire that I just <laughs> ruined one of the corners by accident. And a uh, Midre Cummings rookie. All right. Uh, I would really like to see another one of those. There's a Dave Winfield Hall of Famer. Dante Bichette. It's maybe the third or fourth uh, Andre Scalaraga card that I've seen. Okay, that's a dud pack. Stretch of cards here. Chuck Knobloch. Okay, well, yeah, not much in those last couple. So, yeah, still need to find a Cal Ripken out of here. I'd like to find more of those. Uh, okay, there's a Ken Griffey. That's one of the better ones from this set as well. Langston. Andy Bennis. Okay, and there's a Cal Ripken. So yeah, and then just in one random pack, you get you get a Griffey, you get a Ripken, you get a PJ Serhoff. All right, so other than inserts, I think I've pulled out most of the players that I was hoping to get. Frank Viola. The one-handed Jim Abbott. There's a Mo Vaughn card. It was a scary hitter back in the day. There's a Javi Lopez rookie. Not bad. Yeah, there's a Wade Boggs. And a Wayne Kirby, another Indian. Not one of the uh, premier Indians. Vanilla, still collecting his million dollar checks every year for the Mets. Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. All right, so with these last couple, there's still about 10 left. Still expecting a couple more inserts. I think I've seen four or five of these Brett Saberhagens. Another good one. Cliff Floyd rookie. There's a Kurt Schilling on the Phillies. There is a Sammy Sosa. This was his first semi-big home run year, 33 home runs before he started hitting 60 every year. Yeah, so other, other than maybe another Chipper Jones, uh, which I wouldn't mind seeing, there's a, who is that, Dean Palmer with a severely soft corner there. Okay, here's another uh, one of these medalist cards. We have Robin Ventura, Travis Ryman, and Wade Boggs, so you get a Hall of Famer on there. It's nice.
Oh yeah, Greg Maddox. That's another one of the guys I was definitely looking for. One of my favorite pitchers of all time. Another Charles Nagy. Edgar, no, Tino Martinez. There's a Paul Molitor. Pulled out a couple of those. Kent Herbick. Dave Justice again. And Galarraga number four or five. Jeff Conine at the end there. And one of the things I love to do with cards is just sort them and put them in the piles. So. 36 packs worth of cards to eventually sort out by series and team and so on. That I will enjoy after this video. There's a Mattingly. That's right. That's one of the other ones I was definitely looking for. Um, it's a pretty card. This was, uh, yeah, far past his prime, but, you know, that this 93, two, hit 291. 17 home runs, 86 RBIs. It's still a solid year in 134 games. Yet another Andre Dawson. Paul O'Neill. Right, we're starting to hit the home stretch here. Which Husky rookie? Brown. Mark Newfield rookie. Benny Santiago. Another Will Clark. There's a Jose Canseco. You see he's just starting to get those steroid muscles working for him. Okay, there's a Tony Gwynn. Getting just about all the superstars, Hall of Famers out of these packs. Yet another Randy Johnson. Another Albert Bell. Let's put him in the Indians pile. Not sure which pile he belongs in. Another Juan Gonzalez. And we are down to the final five, looking for another one of those nicknames. Uh, insert cards, another Chipper Jones would be great. I mean, there's no reason I shouldn't be getting four or five Chipper Jones if I'm getting all these Andre Dawson's and Andre's Galarragas. Maybe another is, you see, I've gotten four or five Randy Johnson's, this is Mark Grace, uh, Ozzie Smith, Hall of Famer. Kevin Mitchell. All right. And I think I've only seen one of those uh, Bomb Squad inserts as well. There's a Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer, and he got his Mets uniform on, for, for Mets uniform on, but he's free agent, uh, traded to the Indians in this year. Jose Mesa, our closer, got basically the whole team. Terry Pendleton, Oral Hershiser. Also did some time on the tribe. Ryan Klesko, rookie. Yet another Mark McGuire. Pudge Rodriguez, Hall of Famer. All right, two more packs. I think what I would most like to find is the Cal Ripken nickname card. Ken Griffey Bomb Squad might be a close second. That's a real nice card. I 
Excellent. Will Clark. Larry Walker. Perry Larkin, Hall of Famer, and a nice Ricky Henderson card. All right, and here is the final pack. Start out with a Bernie Williams. Roger Clemens, haven't seen him yet. There's, I can see another one of these medalist cards coming up. There's Edgar Martinez. And, ooh, excellent, the Cal Ripken, Alan Trammell, Tony Fernandez medalist. I think this is the best medalist card in, the, in that insert series. So the last pack, Magic, Marquise Grissom. And we're done. All right, so that is 36 packs of 1994 Donruss Triple Play. I'm not going to sort through these all now, but got a, a handful of nice inserts. Griffey, uh, Frank Thomas inserts, Wade Boggs, Cal Ripken. Uh, got that Chipper Jones rookie is in here somewhere. Definitely have to sort through these later. But, yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed opening those. A lot of Hall of Famers. Um, some interesting inserts to hunt for. Got some of them. There's that Frank Thomas. Bunch of Indians from those uh, classic 90s teams. I'll have fun sorting these out later. Um, but yeah, for 12 bucks, that is an equivalent amount of fun opening this up, regardless of whatever the value of these cards might have been. So I would definitely do that again. Um, all right, I will see you soon with another break.